We made a new friend! My name is Laura and for the next few weeks I'm going to be travelling around my home country Ireland and I can't wait to bring you along with me. In today's episode we're heading on a four day road trip across West Cork. Hey guys, welcome to today's vlog. We are on our way down to West Cork, but we stopped at the Rock of Cashel in County Tipperary. Um, I'm with my friends Jade and Jessica, but they're not too fond of the cameras, so God knows if you'll even see them in this vlog. Um, yeah, we're gonna see, it's raining here at the moment, but it's sunny in Cork, hopefully. The Rock of Cashel is probably one of the most famous ruins in Ireland, and it's normally packed with people. But due to the rain and the current circumstances, we had the whole place to ourselves. It would normally cost about eight euro to enter, and it's a must on anybody's bucket list who is planning to travel to Ireland. After the Rock of Cashel, we jumped in the car, and luckily the sun arrived, and we went to our first destination in Cork. Okay, so we've made it to Baloney Castle. There's Jessica. I told you, she didn't want to be in the video, but now that's going in, and Jade. Um, we've made it to the Blarney Castle and Gardens, and we went up to the Blarney Stone. And to be fair to them, they're sanitizing it, so I decided to give it a go, but I failed miserably. But they got a good laugh out of it. Um, and now we're just walking around the gardens. It costs 18 euro to enter the Blarney Castle Gardens, and I'd highly recommend it because there is so much to see and do. You can explore the caves beneath the castle or climb all the way up to top and that's where you're going to have the opportunity to attempt to kiss the Blarney Stone and you never know, you might even receive the gift of the gab. Either way, the views from the top make the climb completely worth it. Once you're finished attempting to kiss the stone, you can stroll around the beautiful gardens and just enjoy the scenery. After that, we made our way to a stunning seaside town called Cove and well, this happened. Okay, so we've made it out to Cove and we've been here a whole five minutes and we saw a boat tour and we were like, feck it, let's go exploring on a boat out to Spike Island and it was all very last minute and Jade's now driving the boat at the moment. I don't have high hopes. She's probably going to put us in overboard. They've never had someone overboard before, so we might be the first. <laughs> She's got to get us. What's up guys? So it's actually the following morning. Um, last night after our boat ride in Cove, we drove to Kinsale where we were staying the night and we just completely crashed once we got to the apartment. We were so, so tired. Um, and this morning we woke up and explored Kinsale. It's this gorgeous coastal town that all the shops and cafes are like a gorgeous pigmented color. It's beautiful. I highly recommend a visit if you're visiting West Cork. And then we went to Charles Fort, which is a star-shaped fort that was built in the 17th century. And it was actually free because of COVID and it was run very, very well. It was a one-way system. So we're just back in the car now and we're going to be heading down towards the old, old Head of Kinsale. The Old Head of Kinsale is only a 20-minute drive from the main town and it's this gorgeous scenic place that you can walk around and enjoy the views of the Wild Atlantic Way. We then headed to Harbour Viewpoint to have a bite to eat and a little relax before continuing on our journey. Okay guys, so we continued our drive down the Wild Atlantic Way and we ended up stopping in this place called Galley Head. And um, we're kind of just driving along the road and seeing if there's anything nice that we can see. And literally just behind me here is what I can only describe as a wormhole. So basically um, it's inside on the mainland and there's just a big hole and a pool of water in it and it is so, so cool looking. Um, I took a few drone shots, so I'll show you what they look like. Our final stop of the day was Loch Hine, and normally people would hike up to the top for a 360 view of the lake, but sadly we didn't have time. But either way, it was still so worth the visit, and I definitely want to go back. We've arrived in our accommodation for the night. It's in a little town called Bally de Hob, and the view from the back of our accommodation is amazing. And we're going to head into the town to get a bite to eat, and we'll see you in the morning. Bye. <laughs> Morning! Uh, we woke up super super early and headed to school for a sunrise swim. It's gone behind a cloud now but it was absolutely beautiful and Baltic. <laughs> okay 
Okay guys, so we've made it to Mizzen Head, which is the southernmost tip of Ireland and it's honestly one of the prettiest places I've ever been in the whole country. There is just cliffs galore and the Wild Atlantic Way is crashing up against them. It is amazing! After enjoying the scenic views of Mizzen Head, we jumped back in the car and head towards Sheep's Head, which is quite a narrow drive, so just a little bit of a warning for anybody who'd like to try it. We did the Blue Route, which took about an hour and a half to complete, and there's gorgeous scenic views all the way around the trail, and it really lives up to its name because there was actually a lot of sheep there. After our scenic hike around Sheep's Head, we jumped back in the car and headed towards our accommodation for the night because we had an early start the next day. Sadly for us, we headed towards Jersey Island's cable car, which is Ireland's only cable car, but the queue was three hours long by the time we got there, and we decided to head back to Dublin, taking a detour around Healy's Pass. Sadly guys, we are at the end of our Cork vlog. I hope you enjoyed it, and if you did, make sure to give it a big thumbs up and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye!